Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Cube and Star, an arbitrary love. This game comes to us from Doppler Interactive and currently retails for 10 bucks. It is available on Steam and other platforms. Now, while Doppler Interactive is the credited developer of this game, it's actually just developed by one of the members of this two-person Sydney, Australia-based studio, Mr. Joshua McGrath. Cuban Star and Arbitrary Love is a game. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a, it's there's you do things and you collect things. And look, I don't I've had this game for a month and I've been playing it off and on and I have no idea what it is or if I should even cover it. I mean, up until moments before this recording, I'm still discovering new things about the game and the mechanics. I'll, I'll show you around a little bit. Okay, you're this cube sitting here in the middle of the screen and you just kind of move around and you've got things on the screen that you can click that tell you things. There's a map. I've been around the map a lot. There are goals and achievements, and I've done some of them. I I, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> well, let's just play a little bit, okay? Let's get into the loop and let's just kind of see exactly what's happening, right? So I'm this little guy, this little cube, and I can kind of just roll around this world, and I can bump into things like this tree which will drop a star, drop a cube. The cube will sort of give me color and I can then spread that color. And spreading color is kind of a part of the game, I guess. I mean, you can do it, but I don't know if you're supposed to or not supposed. I did This game doesn't really explain itself. It kind of just gives you a whole lot of whatever you want to do kind of scenarios and lets you just sort of do it. Every now and then, one of these little guys drops a journal entry, and you pick it up, and it says something like this. And I don't know what that means. And I continue on. And I can go to the journal, and I can look at that entry in the journal, but that doesn't help me to understand what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just confused internet, but I can't stop playing this game. Every now and then I'm sitting, playing something else, and I think about this game. I think about trying to unravel the mysteries of Cube and Star. I think about this, and whatever the hell this is. I mean, you can define these characters and then tell it to decode the messages, and I... I don't know. I I don't understand anything about this game, but it's somehow compelling me to play it. I think that other developers would love to sort of dig into exactly what it is about this game that gets its hooks into people, because there are other people like me on Steam leaving reviews for this game, kind of just saying the same things I'm saying. I mean, you just kind of play this game and you, you sort of figure things out as you go. I mean, I mentioned that I figured out a mechanic just minutes before this recording. This is kind of what I figured out. I've picked up these little signposts that have given me these little colored tiles. And if I press the associated button, I get that thing on the screen. Well, I don't know what that does, and I don't know what that is. So I just kind of sat here pressing the buttons that associate with these little icons, and eventually this happened. And then those things grew, and little triangles appeared, and I, I don't know what that means. And then if you fall on the triangles, you can murder them. And I, I don't understand what I'm doing. I don't understand anything about this game, but it's just, it's a beautiful experience. And it's the kind of thing that I just wanna figure out. What is a mean shanty, and why do I care about it? And if I demolish it, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I I just don't understand. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thought process on this game. I don't know what it is or what I'm doing, 
but I just keep doing more of it. I don't understand what these triangles are or why they want my stars, and why if I pay them enough stars, they will eventually change colors and start turning the rest of the world colors. I, I just created a sustainable tiny triangle. I, I don't know what's happening, and I don't know if I will ever know what's happening. But this game is so interesting and so just darn strange that I want to continue to explore it and I want to continue to try to figure out what it is that is actually pushing me towards exploring this game. I mean, is it the little oddities that occur? Like when you interact with another cube? Either their brain pops out and they give you a cryptic message about going in a direction, and if you kind of go in that direction, you might find another one of these little icons that are in the lower right of the screen. You'll see a signpost, and then you'll all of a sudden have another one of these things. And I guess you use those things to create color? Blast explosions that raise buildings and create a tiny triangle population? I, I don't... I don't understand. I don't, I don't... This game is something. It, it, it's most definitely something. And, and I have a tremendous amount of respect for what it is. But I just don't really know 100% of what it is. And so I keep playing it to try to figure out what it is. And I guess that's really its power. It, it's a curiosity. And it keeps pulling me back in. And I just keep coming back for more. I, I don't, I see a journal entry to the north and I don't know why I need that, but I'm compelled to go up here and get it. Cuban star, an arbitrary love. I think I am kind of in arbitrary love with this game. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I need to keep playing it, but I just do. So, yeah, if you've got a spare $10 lying around, or you happen to see this game on sale, maybe pick it up. It, maybe don't. I don't really know. Yeah. I don't really know. That's kind of how I feel about Cube and Star and Arbitrary Love. Well, I have been Big Dave. This has been Cube and Star and Arbitrary Love. And until next time, take it easy.